Remember last fall when Jason Bourne Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Hit us with that amazing and an inspirational commercial. Our hero, Matt Damon, that handsome guy we all know and love from all those awesome movies, he walked out onto that amazing set and gave us a speech that absolutely tore the house down. Amazing achievements in humankind, like the Wright brothers and NASA astronauts. They were shown as the heroes we all know and love them for. And then he hit us with those historic words. Fortune favors the brave. Wait, what the heck? Did you, did you see that logo? Did you see that? This is a crypto commercial. I was like, what? But what's actually going on here? If you invested in crypto coins at the time when this commercial came out, what would your returns be? Spoiler alert, it's not too good. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see some alternate investment ideas because while The Martian was pumping this and telling us to be brave, the best investors of all time, like Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, and Monish Pabrai, were telling us something drastically different. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world and you offered it to me for $25, I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? It's stupid because it's very likely to go to zero. In fact, we were lucky enough to interview Monish in his Austin office when he said this. The, with the crypto end of things is that there's new coins and new currencies being created every hour. Uh, so I think that crypto, I think the last time I was seeing it's the total value across all of them is more than like three trillion. Um, uh, that three trillion, in my opinion, will disappear to nothing. So shout out to Market Watch for this amazing article, which totally floored me. It describes the concept of if you bought into, say the top three cryptocurrencies, what would your returns be? What if you wanted to be like those brave immortals that came before us? Those that looked danger in the eye and ran toward it. So let's take a look if you did just that. Say you got your new crypto account, put in a few thousand dollars, and invested it into the most popular cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and say Dogecoin, because of course that was in the news throughout the year. Elon Musk from Tesla was on SNL talking about it and tweeting about it. And we were seeing videos about this new Dogecoin millionaire on YouTube. Say you bought Bitcoin on October 28th, 2021. The price was $61,465. Ethereum was $4,258. And Dogecoin, it was only 30 cents. At the time of this filming, Bitcoin currently sits at just over $30,000. This is less than half of the money you would have in Bitcoin had you bought when Matt Damon told us to. And a near 50% loss is very tough to recover from. You now have to go up 100% to get back to your original investment. Ethereum, it's around $2,080 now. This is also less than half as well. And Dogecoin at 30 cents, well now it's around nine cents, which is a loss of 70%. It's funny because the price of Dogecoin was actually 70 cents when Elon Musk famously went on SNL and started talking about it. What are cryptocurrencies? They're a type of digital money. Prices have been soaring for cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and especially Dogecoin. On May 8th of last year, during SNL, the price actually fell 24 cents that night, which was a drop of 30%. People had high hopes that the Dogecoin daddy was gonna pump the coin and it was going to the moon. But sadly, the opposite happened. And frankly, it wasn't just this commercial that might've finally triggered your mind into getting into cryptocurrencies. Months later, this message spread to the Super Bowl as well. With over 100 million viewers and 30 second ads, costing around $6 million. Companies like Crypto.com and Coinbase really wanted your attention. Crypto.com has pumped over $100 million into their marketing in the last year. And who could blame them? Surveys have shown that 40% of American males ages 18 to 29 have invested in or traded cryptocurrencies. The joke that's going around is that cryptocurrencies is to young American males like the Mary Kay craze that was so popular with American females. Remember the Coinbase commercial in the Super Bowl with that bouncing QR code? 
Trust me, this was very innovative and attention grabbing. But oddly enough, that company's stock, which runs in tandem with cryptocurrencies, is down 70% as well. The commercials were everywhere and very famous spokespeople were promoting it. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. So, hurry up, you hear me? Hurry up and get on down there to that NFT thing. They literally renamed the Staples Center to the crypto.com arena. And if you know anything about sports, the Staples Center is this iconic mecca for American sports for the past 22 years. Crypto.com spent $700 million to put their name on that building. Again, they really want you to know about their platform. Likewise, FTX scored the naming rights to Miami's arena for around $150 million. So if you've lost all this money and you're struggling to figure out why, it certainly can be confusing. Now with crypto down, you might be thinking, well, the entire market is down, so this should just follow. Everything is crashing, so why should crypto be any different? But sadly, the crypto fans have been telling us for years that these currencies are a hedge against inflation, falling stock prices, and a weak US dollar. Cryptos should be up in this volatile market, like gold, which is an actual hedge. And we get it. It's hard to set yourself apart from the crowd when all of your friends are getting into the hype and making huge gains on crypto. However, there's an alternate way about investing that doesn't involve putting your hard-earned money into mysterious coins you see on the news. It's actually the opposite of that. And this is a type of bravery that has been proven to work for a century. If you're confused as to why you lost money, <laughs> there are a couple of key factors you can learn from this. One is value investing, and two is monitoring your downside risk. Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time, didn't invest in stocks he saw on a Super Bowl commercial. He invested in quiet, boring stocks that had great cash flow and he could get at a discounted price. The real bravery is going against the grain, not following your friends and not following the crowd. Like our heroes before us, they didn't listen to people telling them they couldn't fly or they couldn't go to space or they couldn't succeed. This is the definition of value investing, or as Warren Buffett would call it, just investing. Buy great assets that provide cash flow at a price that's much lower than you deem it's worth. This is the real concept of buying low and selling high in the future. Buy low, sell high, that's my motto. It's not what you buy, it's what you pay. Equally as important is the concept of downside risk. It's one thing to be brave, but it's another thing to recklessly charge into a stock, a coin, or an investment that you probably know nothing about. And if you have no concept as to how an investment will go down in value, you'll have no understanding why it would go up. All the investing greats monitor and carefully consider what they have to lose way over what they have to gain. Charlie Munger frequently states, that one of his top rules is just don't do anything stupid. The rest of the world will do it around you. So what if you're stuck with one of these investments in your portfolio right now? Here at Everything Money, we always say that if you reassess the current status of any investment and you're not comfortable with it, then just get rid of it. Sell it, stomach the loss, just move on and make better decisions moving forward. And this is all coming from personal experience. I used to invest in high-flying companies. I had three Bitcoins at one point. And four years ago, when Bitcoin was raging over $20,000, like you perhaps, I was thinking it would never go down. Well, that went down to 3,000 bucks. Well, it's not gonna do us any good to sit here whining about it. And I was lucky. I stupidly held on, but got out with a gain. But now moving forward in life, I have a sound, disciplined approach to investing my money in safer assets that'll help me build wealth over time. You'd be amazed that when you define and stick to a solid investing process, you'll be less likely to see these massive swings in your account balance, you'll lose less money, and you'll be proud and confident in the investing decisions you've made.